You know, robot technology is growing incredibly fast. Scientists are even today developing microscopic nanorobots that can be inserted into your bloodstream and seek out dangerous bacteria and viruses and destroy them. But what do you imagine when you think of technology? Sure, that's all technology. But all that makes technology seem so far away from the natural world. I wonder, though, if there's a way we can make nature a part of technology. It has been called biomimicry, where nature is the source of inspiration for new technology. Okay, but how does the process of biomimicry begin, and how do we end up with a product that humans can use? Let's find out how scientists observed an animal and developed the product that helped people break world records. So we're heading to the Biomimicry Institute where scientists are working to help develop technology that imitates nature. Hi. Oh, hi. Nice to meet Welcome you. Welcome to Montana. Tell me, what is this biomimicry thing? Oh, biomimicry, it is cool. It's looking to nature for solutions to human technology problems. What are we doing inside? We don't want to be inside. Let's right, go out. Let's go out. And as we get outside, Sherry opens my eyes to the countless adaptations in nature that could serve as inspiration to new technological solutions. For example, how trees can grow and split without breaking under its own weight could give new ideas to construction. Or how the surface of leaves is adapted to dry after being wet could provide insight in water collection and fungal treatment. So biomimicry means that observations in nature are made into technology that fits human needs. All done by also keeping the best for the environment in mind for sustainable solutions. And everything starts with an observation and a question. So with this in mind, let's get back to our shark story. Think of fish in oceans. Yeah. Think of sharks, whales, eels. All of these animals have to move in sometimes you know, hundreds to thousands of miles without exhausting themselves. They don't want to waste energy. And so this, what I'm showing here, is this is the early version of the Speedo suit, like the ones they used in the Olympics this year. Yeah. Um, and so the, what they did with this is they developed this to mimic how the skin of a shark works. So looking at the shark's skin at a microscopic level, we can see that it's not completely smooth. It has some small skin teeth, and it was discovered that this rough surface actually helped reduce drag in the water and allow the shark to glide better. This so-called shark skin technology was then introduced to swimsuits, allowing swimmers to swim faster by simply changing the texture of the skin. But shark skin has also been the inspiration to other technological solutions. You know, some other things they've learned from sharks, there's a shark called a basking shark. Yep. And it doesn't move much, I mean, because it's, you know, that's how it got its name, basking. It just sort of sits around basking. Um, but someone noticed I wonder why that shark doesn't get barnacles on it. And they were able to come up with a design for ship hulls that doesn't, doesn't attract barnacles. The barnacles can't stick to it as well as they can a different type of ship hull. Wow. And this shark example is just one of many technological ideas that have come out of biomimicry. For example, gecko's feet were the inspiration to develop a super adhesive tape. And the idea for Velcro, well, first came from burdock, a thistle. Studying humpback whale fins has led to more energy-efficient wind turbines. And who would have thought termites could have something to teach us? Well, scientists and engineers feel that there are lessons to be learned about natural air conditioning just by studying how termites build their nests. Biomimicry could hold many solutions to environmental problems too, since in nature everything is recycled, only available resources are used, and no toxic chemicals. Wow, so biomimicry is pretty cool. We've learned that imitating or mimicking nature can help us make our technology more efficient. 
while helping us use our resources more efficiently. Just another reason to never stop exploring your world. And now, it's your turn. Go outside and make some observations of plants or animals and then make a list of ways you can help solve problems that we encounter using solutions inspired by nature.